What I take advantage of as an artist, as an American, is at least having freedom of expression. So as far as I'm concerned, I can paint whatever I want to paint, and I can't go to jail for it. So hey, art for art's sake, that's what, that's what it's about. Kids are always going to vandalize walls. Kids are always going to tag walls. Kids are, kids, you know, graffiti was started by kids vandalizing walls and having fun. Graffiti will always have that knucklehead aesthetic to it that's very unapologetic and just doesn't care. That's what makes graffiti graffiti. If it goes too far over to the art, it isn't the same thing any, anymore. That's why I, I can respect the people that, that, I can respect graffiti artists that don't do art and just do all graffiti. If graffiti were filled up in a game with guys like me, it wouldn't be graffiti anymore. But guys like me is what makes the game special, is that there is that, um, that tug of war, right? There is that check and balance within the graffiti world where there are graffiti purists and there are guys like me to try to push the envelope of what people consider as even being graffiti and, 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 and a good attempt of educating people that don't know what graffiti is of, uh, of it being a good thing, of it being a creative thing, of it being a creatively liberating form of art. Graffiti inside of galleries isn't necessarily graffiti at that point. It's graffiti influenced, it's graffiti influenced, it's, 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 it's influenced by the style, but it isn't graffiti because graffiti is the act of vandalizing a wall. It's, it's an act of doing graffiti. It isn't necessarily even uh, the, the aesthetic, right? So if, if it isn't illegally being done, then in that point, then by definition, it truly isn't graffiti. It's, it's graffiti styled artwork. At that point, I don't necessarily see it as selling anything out, you know. Nor do I see it as, uh, but but I do see it as being important for the art world, for the art world, to see graffiti as actual art movement and, get, and having graffiti in galleries and museums sets it up to become an art movement. And and at this point in time, it's the current art movement of our generation, right? Um, it has yet to be documented in history, art history books, correctly, correct? Because it is documented in art history books, but it's very from what I've read, it's, it's like a very bad description. They have a little to no graffiti it's artists, Bansky. actually. B Bansky and Basquiat yeah. in art history books, which is like, uh, it's, it's, and that's leaving out a lot of people. Um, but that's because it's, that's a, it's a matter of time of that happening. Every graffiti is an art movement, like the many of other art movements that's come before our time. That's a circumstance of the world we live in today, with, with the world we live in today being the general public has no control over public space kids get tired of dealing with that and want to take it back yeah. that's the that's that's how it happens that's how it works we live in a world where public space has costs right you the average person can't afford that but the average person can a piece it gets a corporation for this space no you take it you vandalize it and claim it as your own and make them deal with it that's the way it works and that and that's the why My stress, I'll take a breath if I am able. 